Hey guys, so in this video we're going to talk about how we hold and manipulate the trumpet. So I'm going to start with two things. I'm going to take both hands and I'm going to make a C shape with them just like this. So both hands are actually actively going to be kind of in this shape when we play the trumpet. We're going to take our left hand and put it down. We're going to start with the right hand. The right hand is actually just like this. So our thumb is going to go in one spot and our fingers go in the valves and our pinky goes on top of the pinky ring. Just like that. Okay, this is kind of like squeezing a tennis ball with the tips of your fingers. Okay. That's a good way to practice that. If you just want to grab a ball and do that, that's a good way to practice the strength so that your fingers go down. Okay? So our left hand is the same idea as C, but we're going to turn our hands sideways. Kind of like we're holding a drink in our hand. Okay? And you'll notice when you hold a drink, you don't squeeze with all your fingers. It's mostly the thumb and your pointer finger that are holding the can. The rest of the fingers just kind of hang out there. It's that same idea when we have the trumpet. So my thumb is actually going to go in the first valve saddle. Okay? And my other pointer finger is going to actually squeeze the valve casings and hold the instrument. Those two fingers do the bulk of the work with holding the instrument. The second one just kind of hangs out. And the third one goes in the actual third valve slide. So here you go. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So, thumb goes in the saddle. Notice it's not way in there. Just barely where the meat is. First finger pinches the, the actual valve casing. Second one hangs out. Third one in the slide. And the pinky most of the time just hangs out here. You'll see some people do this, but I don't find that very comfortable. I think it makes it actually harder for your hand to do the work. So I do this. So notice when I hold the trumpet, the thumb, the pinky, do all the uh, first finger do all the work. That way the rest of my fingers can move when I need them to. Okay? So now, how do we hold? Let's actually, before we do that, let's practice lifting the instrument do with that same thing. So when we hold it, we just do the same thing. We just lift and put the trumpet up to our lips. Notice I'm not trying to play, I'm just literally touching to my lips. And once it's up there, we don't do anything special. You'll also notice that my elbow's not out, it's just in a nice relaxed position. So if you saw my hand, the arm is nice and relaxed, it's out this way, my wrist isn't turned either way. It's just a nice, easy, and notice the trumpet for the most part is up and down in a vertical way, not tilted too much either way. Okay, so that's what we do with our left hand. Now our right hand, as I said, we do that C shape. Now where does the thumb go? That's the most important thing, that way our fingers go to the right spot. So you'll notice the first valve casing and the seventh, second valve casing, we're going to put it right between them. And just like that we have the C shape, one, two, three, and four. And that's our C shape. Okay, so now putting that all together. And a reminder, so we have right hand C up here, left hand C here. And that's how we hold the trumpet. This does all the pinch and hold work, and this does all the valve work. So let's review that. Thumb in the saddle, first finger. Third finger goes in the ring here. Pinky just relaxes. And we actually, that's how we lift the trumpet and hold it. We add in the right hand thumb between the first and second valve casing. First valve, second valve, third valve. There it is, and we actually use our hand to squeeze on the lead pipe. So hopefully that helped to teach you how to hold the instrument. That way it's the most effective way when we start using all those different parts to actually make the trumpet work. Good luck with your practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.